Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to paint this mountain landscape using some essential watercolour techniques that you can apply to pretty much any landscape painting. So, going through now with a thin wash of cobalt blue, about a quarter paint to three quarters water, and through that wash I'm now adding in some darker clouds, just with a bit of thicker paint. It's a mixture of blue and grey just make sure the clouds are smaller down the bottom as well. Very important to get that first wash of the sky correct. And keep it light as well. Just drying that off now and I'm going in and doing part of the second layer of mountains. While I'm doing that I'm also just painting in and indicating some of the ice caps on the far mountains. And the trick here is just using the side of your brush and drying your brush a little bit as well, just dragging it across the paper. Trying not to make too many obvious patterns. And as you go down the mountain as well, make sure the paint is just a bit lighter. I'm drawing in and indicating this river coming down as well. A bit of cobalt blue. yellowish green at the bottom here now and I'm doing the closest set of mountains some of darker tones allowing that to blend in with this greenish wash at the bottom drop in some of that green into the mountains as well you get some interesting effects and I'm just carrying that green wash all the way down. And you don't have to wait until the river's dried, you can still do it while it's partially damp and allow it to bleed in. What I'm doing here is a lot of wet and wet. And it's a great way to paint trees very quickly. And I'm using a bit of blue paint and I'm just dropping it into the green and allowing it to mix. Using different sorts of brushes, I've got a rigger here but before I was using a round brush, also a calligraphy brush. If you're doing bigger trees use a bigger brush, smaller tree, smaller brush. And remember to use different tones of paint as well. So you want some darker trees, some lighter trees, or you want to indicate darker areas on some of the trees. I'm going through and scratching out a little bit of paint. Just to indicate some of the tree trunks and maybe a bit of grass. Touching up some sections here in the back as well. Just defining some of these rocks on the mountains a little bit more. Just adding a bit more colour to this river now and giving it a whole dry off. And this is another technique that you can use. While everything's dried, you can go on and get some fresh paint and just add some trees on. And I'm almost dry brushing a lot of these on actually. So you've got a combination here of trees which are soft and also some trees with, with uh, hard edges. Just makes it look a bit more interesting if you have a combination of both and it's that layering effect that you want to achieve with watercolor a bit of gouache in the end i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments below which techniques you're going to use in your next painting and whether you've got some new ones to share